morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It's actually Sunday morning and my mom is here this weekend. She's been here since Friday and we've just been like been bopping around town doing some hikes. Oh, there's Drew. There's mom. We went on a hike yesterday. Oh, there's my mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> and I figured on her last day, we've just been enjoying time off camera, obviously, but on her last day, you know, I would document a little bit of it. So we're actually gonna head to Santa Monica, which is funny because we just did this whole thing at the very beginning of this vlog. We had like a nice little morning routine. Went to the beach, got coffee, etc. That's basically what we're gonna do today. We might do a little bit of shopping. We'll see, my mom is on the hunt for some Birkenstocks. I am wearing my fake thrifted Birkenstocks. And Birkenstocks. my Birkenstocks. <laughs> But she wants to find some real ones because um, she used to have them in the 90s and I used to borrow them in like the early 2000s and stuff. And she, I don't know, doesn't have that pair anymore. So she wants to get some new ones. I might get some Ugg slippers. We'll see. We just had a nice, lovely morning walk with Miss Waywas. And now we're heading out. So come along. Oh, and it finally feels like fall. Oh my God. It finally feels like fall. I'm so excited. Here is my slightly granola outfit of the day. I'm wearing this brown shirt that I got at Primark when I was in the UK. I got a cute little like half up sort of Phoebe Buffet style hairstyle here. And then my thrifted overalls, Layla's dog toy, and my thrifted fake Burks. Let's go. Do you want to give us your OOTD? Um, Uniqlo head to toe. Uniqlo. Right. <laughs> Uniqlo. I don't even know where these are from. Maybe like H&M probably. Sure. And then the Nike Vintage 77, I think. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hi, Mom. You want to give us your OOTD? Oh. Do you know um, what that means? Yes. Okay. Old Navy, Old Navy. Macy's. Macy's and I Nike? I can't remember. What are those? Oh, they're called um, Too Big. Um. <laughs> Some type of it. comfortable walking shoes. The shoe warehouse thing. The shoe These warehouse. The there we go. Cheers. 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 I was um, so excited to get my food that I ate the entire thing. <laughs> I even showed it, but I got a waffle with strawberries and bananas. This is what it would look like, so um, just pretend. So it's actually the next day. I decided not to vlog after all. I was really just enjoying being present. And yeah, you don't need an explanation, obviously, you know. But I made myself a nice little cookie butter latte this morning after my hot girl walk and my breakfast. I walked for like three miles around the neighborhood, chatted with my mom because she left this morning, sadly, and she's on her way back to Arizona. So we chatted for a little bit and then I listened to my Laguna Beach podcast. As always, I'm running out of episodes though, so I'm like kind of sad about it. Made myself a cookie butter latte, literally just melted cookie butter into my espresso. It's delicious, but my parosmia, I don't know. These like Nespresso pods aren't really doing it anymore. So anyways, I'm gonna jump in the shower. We have a busy day today. We have a filming day. I think I need to do some editing later. We're also getting our bivalent, bivalent, bivalent boosters today. We're getting our flu shot as well. So we have a lot going on. And then a really, really busy week. So I'm just kind of preparing. We've got our laundry. Like we didn't, you know, do our typical Sunday stuff yesterday because my mom was here. So anyways, come along. Let's get our lives back together. Reset time. <laughs> All right, and not too much later, we've managed to get ourselves ready. I did have to do a slicked back hair this morning. It's not really how I wanted to do my hair today, but I'm running out of time. I seriously have like 
an hour or so until our vaccine appointments and I want to make sure I've like got enough time and I'm not rushing too much and um, whatever I'm just gonna wear my hair up I am like not a hair up kind of girl probably can't really tell by the vlogs but I've been trying to get more comfortable with my ears recently wow is that something I've never talked about online I feel like I have probably I have a huge insecurity let's just let's just rip the band-aid <laughs> I have a huge insecurity with my ears I have my entire life people used to in like kindergarten call me Dumbo because I had like big ears was like an elephant or whatever and I've just had like a complex about it ever since my mom has the same ears her dad had the same ears it's just kind of like hereditary actually my grandma also had big ears so it's just part of like life but have I never talked about that I don't know so how I do my hair is usually down and if I wear it up, it's like half up in a way that like strategically my ears are covered. It's kind of um, uncomfy for me because I feel weird about my ears, but we're just gonna go with it. Also, I have a very big head. Anyway. <laughs> This isn't like me just shitting on myself. It's just me being honest about like random insecurities that probably no one else would notice But that like bothers me, you know, and all that to say it's pointless to like waste your time worrying about that kind of stuff The trash truck is also going by Great fantastic cuz like I don't know my ears are part of what makes me me, you know, and Drew thinks my ears are cute Anyways, wow, that was a really <laughs> That was an ADHD moment for sure. Me telling you that I'm running late and that I need to hurry up and film because I didn't even have time to do my hair and then I went on a tangent about my ears. Anyways, okay. Sneak peek, we are filming an Abercrombie video, which actually by the time this video goes live, I will have already posted that because it's going up like in two days. I'm a little behind because of like family and being in town the last couple of weeks. I don't know why I keep talking. I literally can't stop talking. <laughs> literally shut up. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Talk later. See ya. that made it back home from our booster appointments we're boosted and ready to go and she dapped us good you know it was real efficient it's in there that's for sure what i think i'm gonna do i don't know if this is extra but i also do not care is um the day that you're seeing this video is actually and i can't believe i haven't addressed it yet in this video so far but the day you are watching this is the day i could throw up of excitement it's the day that midnight's taylor swift's new album comes out so actually oh, oh my god <laughs> the day that you are watching this i have already heard it yeah layla's crying that's how excited she is so i actually um ordered a sweater on amazon that is midnight's inspired i'll show you what it looks like here it is it's so cute i can't believe i'm literally about to listen to another taylor swift album I'm like bah. Anyways, Drew and I were just talking on the way back and I told him, you know, I want to take like a midnight's photo. And he was like, you haven't even been talking about that that much lately. And I'm like, I know we've been so busy. He's like, what are you, how are you preparing? What are you going to do? And I'm like, silently sit in the dark and like rock back and forth and just listen to it and be like, what the fuck? I mean, that's it. I don't, we don't have a single yet. I have no idea what I'm, what I'm expecting. I'm so ready. Oh, I literally have full body chills. Anyways, so I think I'm gonna like, now that um, I'm done with my little bit of filming from earlier, I think I might do my hair, get changed, and take like a fun little midnight's photo, cause why not? I'm like the equivalent of a Disney adult, but I'm a Taylor Swift adult. And I simply do not care. I'm gonna go see why my dog is crying. Hi, hi, sweet girl. Are you okay? Are you okay? You just want me to pet you? We were gone 30 minutes. 
Oh, what a good girl. Best girl in the world. Okay, it's a little while later. Did my hair, got my little outfit on. I'm gonna take my photo because it makes me happy and brings me joy. And then we're gonna make some lunch because it's butternut squash, freaking mac and cheese time. So we're gonna do it. Here's the outfit details, by the way. The sweater is from Amazon, I'm not gonna lie, but it was exactly what I was looking for. This nightgown is actually thrifted. This belt is thrifted and these boots are from Target. I think we got it. All right, it's lunchtime. I'm heating up my butternut squash mac and cheese from Trader Joe's. We also went, what the hell is all over this? We went to Erewhon over the weekend when my mom was here and we got these Vego Bears, Vigo Bears. Um, it says foamy gummy bears. I don't know why it's called that, but they're actually really good. But like, I think they're just expensive vegan gummy bears. And these flavor are cherry and raspberry. I guess they are kind of foamy looking. But they just taste normal and they're really good. Meat, I guess. Yeah. And then we also got the brand called Rind. We got the apple chips, which are good. I've also had the pack that has like apple, pear, and strawberry. That one was okay. But we got one that had apple, peach, <laughs> and persimmon. And that one was really good. And these apple chips are good too. In case you're interested oh, in a snack update, our new pastime has been going to Erewhon and buying expensive snacks and being like, is this worth the hype? I can't believe the time has come to have my first butternut squash mac and cheese in the season. Oh, yeah, I know. You already have one. Did you boot me with your chopstick? Mm -hmm. Oh well, my god, here she is. This is a monumental day. I mean, it's probably been a year. It's steaming up the lens. It is steaming up the lens. Here she is in her microwaved glory. In case you're new here, this is it. It is the Trader Joe's butternut squash mac and cheese, which sounds weird, but oh, is it good? We probably got it for the first time, what, like four years ago? When we moved here. First bite of the season. This better be good. Because my parosmia, you know? Oh. I have parosmia in case you didn't know, which is like an after effect of COVID where you, everything tastes and smells. Okay. Tastes like shit? Mm -hmm. oh. Good, good, good. Spicy water of the day is Waterloo watermelon. Love to see it. Cheers. What a perfect day. All right, just finished my lunch. It was delicious. Drew and I actually have seen some TikToks of people making that recipe, um, like from scratch. And so we're obviously going to try that at some point. I'll try to link the TikTok if I can remember. But, um, yeah, delicious. Oh, <laughs> he's good. Like Justine Snacks, by the way, is the TikTok. We're gonna try that maybe later. Um, I'm also really feeling impulsive, like I wanna dye my hair, because I'm gonna be honest, I it's nothing against the people who did my hair last or anything like that, but I hate the color of my hair right now. And even my mom was like, your hair color is not the best. <laughs> I was like, I know. She was like, you've had better hair colors. I think just because it's like, dark on the top and then it's hard to tell on camera but in person it's very like there's still red in it at the bottom i have three different shades of blonde it's like dark blonde or dirty blonde or brown or whatever and then like blonde-ish like golden and then it's like red down at the bottom and then like underneath it's really dark and like when i put it up it's like a bunch of different colors and i'm just like over it i think i might do dark again we'll see but first we're gonna take Layla outside. I decided, you know what? I had my vaccine. I'll probably be feeling tired soon. I got a bunch of work done today. It's like 2 p.m., which is like prime nap time, to be honest. And I'm gonna like take it easy, you know? I'm gonna take it slow. So I got my Kindle. I am going to get back into my book and I thought I'd give like a quick little book review update. I um have nothing against like true classic literature or like really thought provoking stuff. I've read some of it. I used to read a ton growing up and right now where I'm at in my life and just with the way the world is <laughs> and everything, I just want my mind to feel numb. Like I don't, I want to read like smut or like corny shit that's just me being honest so that's i mean no offense no offense to miss colleen hoover colleen hoover she is like the tiktok queen we love her for it um but i sometimes just read those books because i can speed through them really quickly and they're just very easy to read i'm also joined by somebody who just woke up good morning 
Hi. Hi. But anyways, um, before I get into the Colleen Hoover book, I did finish the sequel to the last book that I was talking about, which was called It Happened One Summer. And the sequel is called Hook, Line, and Sinker. I, I liked it. I heard a lot of people say they liked the sequel better. I found I found the men in those books annoying. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I found the men to be like kind of annoying. I don't know. Like it was like the author is very like, oh, he's a big burly man and he's so burly and like so strong. And like she's just tiny little girl and he's just big strong man. And like, I don't know. It just some of it was really cringe, like really, really cringe. But I did enjoy the books overall. I enjoyed like the world of Westport. I won't spoil anything, but I really, I like, I enjoyed them, but there were times where I, I literally physically was rolling my eyes. And that's not cause I'm like better than the author or anything like that. It was just the story was like a little cheesy, but anyways. Then I read Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I don't know. Again, it was just kind of okay. I didn't really like the way that the girl was being treated in that book. <laughs> Am I being a buzzkill? I'm sorry. I'm sure some people will agree with me. I still liked reading them. And now I'm reading Reminders of Him. I downloaded like four books before I went to the UK because I thought I was going to read on the plane. But I ended up just like editing and watching shows and stuff. So didn't get much reading done. So I'm like trying to work through those. So I'm like getting through those four books that I have on my Kindle. And Reminders of Him is one of them. It was a recommended book. And I don't think I like the main character. Is that bad to say? I sound like I'm just shitting on all these books. I don't know. Sometimes I think like I get disappointed and overhyped things. I think that's normal. But this book in particular, I don't like the main character. I find her very unlikable and I'm not going to spoil anything, but she's done this like horrendous thing. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far. I'm only 112 pages in and we're all human and everything, but I'm just like, I, I do like it. It's like juicy, but I find myself like being annoyed with the main character. Anyways, that's my mini book review that nobody asked for. I'm like really struggling with this vlog today. Like I feel like I, when I take breaks from vlogging for like a week or two, I don't know how to vlog anymore. Like I feel very rusty and I feel like the things that I'm saying are so pointless and that no one cares. And like, why am I even talking about this? I should just turn off the camera. So bear with me while I get back into it. Also, sorry if you've been able to hear my fan that's going in my bedroom this entire time. We don't have a ceiling fan, so that's our replacement. Who is giving himself a bath now? And now I'm going to tuck into this book and hopefully I'll like it a little bit more by the end of it. Don't spoil anything, but let me know if it gets better. Okay, we'll chat soon. <laughs> 